Hey y'all, let's talk about the PCV system. What is positive crankcase ventilation? In short, the PCV. Unburned gas, also and fuel. burned. A process of eliminating a mix of unburned and burned exhaust gas and fuel, also called blow-by, that moves past the piston rings into the crankcase, at which point there is a place of low pressure created with the PCV valve. Uh, with the intake vacuum, also a fresh air inlet, both typically located uh, on separate places on the valve cover. So the fresh air inlet is a place of high pressure as the air passes to the PCV valve. So you have your fresh air inlet, this would be your air filter, and you would have your fresh air. You can see the illustration right here, fresh air blue, exhaust gas red. And as the fresh air passes through, because this is a place of high pressure, remember blue, high pressure, fresh air. And it will pass on in to the crankcase through the oil drain and through the drain holes you have for your oil. Low pressure allowing high pressure blow by through the oil drain holes in the engine along with the fresh air to pass on out the PCV valve into the intake. So like I said you have your fresh air passing through and you have the blow by that's occurring through your piston rings and it's creating a high pressure point. See the red creating the high pressure within your sealed system. So this can be a problem it's building up even more pressure and as you can see the illustration right here you have the piston rings and the cylinder wall and it would move through here and also you have your rings and there's ring gap and it also go through that and the red would be the illustration of that as you can see right here exhaust gas and that would also stand for the blow by um, you will have sometimes fresh air also in that and un, like I said unburned fuel so as that moves past the piston rings into the crankcase right here it is entering the crankcase at which point there is a place of low pressure created with the PCV valve with intake vacuum so here we have the intake pulling the vacuum and it's creating a place of low pressure allowing the fresh air inlet to pull air in it's filtered with your air filter through a, uh, a hose onto the valve cover fresh air inlet both typically located on separate places on the valve cover so like I said these hoses move along to the valve cover so the fresh air inlet is a place of high pressure so air passes to the PCV valve which is low pressure and low pressure allowing high pressure blow by through the oil drain holes in the engine so the gas is passed by the piston cylinder walls and the rings and you see as it moves up in the red and the black you know illustrates the oil drain holes so it moves through there to the intake manifold from the valve cover so first it would enter the valve cover after it passes through the oil drain holes it'll go into the valve cover and to the PCV valve which is located on the valve cover. See right here you would have your PCV valve over here and then the other hose fresh air inlet so you would have it separate hose. Once it passes through the PCV valve um, it moves on to the intake manifold so it's passing into the intake manifold then it passes into the combustion chamber where it is burned off and repeated but if its pressure is too high from a worn engine or clogged or stuck PCV valve you could damage your seals then the leak 
would cause oil to be pretty bad and uh, like these new direct injection engines are prone to gunk from blow-by on the intake valves uh, because blow-by also has oil vapor and it doesn't have fuel sprayed on t constantly to clean the intake valves so you could add an oil catch can and clean the PCV valve from time to time so maybe this wouldn't happen as bad uh, with your seals so do any of you guys have a oil catch can so let me know if any of you guys have an oil catch can and in the comments below let me know what you think does a catch can actually help or improve do you guys have a direct injection engine or even if you don't uh, let me know what you guys think let me know if this actually uh, helps your car or engine to keep the intake valves and manifold clean also you could have a air oil separator now a lot of times you will have one of these on some newer vehicles um, some newer vehicles will have these and they will be located on the PCB side um, I have installed fresh air oil separators uh, between the air filter and this line opposite of the PCB valve hose because I have seen the oil come back through and get on the throttle plate really bad and damage the throttle plate so I'm sure you guys have looked at a throttle plate before and seen the gunk and most of the time that's what it's from even one that doesn't have bl bad blow by or anything like that still these new uh, throttles are electronic it seems to happen they get damaged so this will help prevent that but do not restrict the airflow you need to keep everything um, the same size so any adapters or anything like that you need to stay with the same size and length so well I want to thank you guys for watching with Nate's Interactive Auto and you guys keep on wrenching